that our molding is cut and refined, we're ready to join the pieces to make a frame. The model F300-1 Studio Joiner is the economical solution for precisely driving V-nails into molding corners to securely join them together. Simple and easy to use, this complete system produces strong, tight corners for high-quality professional results. Let's go over the types of V-nails, their size, and the quantity to use for different moldings. There are two types of V-nails, hard and soft. What's the difference between a hard and soft V-nail? The difference is that soft V-nails have a sharpened edge that cuts its way into the softer woods upon insertion. The hard V-nails have a tempered, blunt edge that forces its way into the harder woods upon insertion. It's important to use the proper V-nail according to the wood type you are using. A soft V-nail can possibly split hardwood, and a hardwood V-nail is not recommended for softer woods. Also, be sure to choose a V-nail that is at least one-half the molding thickness. Be sure to use at least two V-nails per joint. For moldings one-quarter inch to one and three-quarter inches wide, use two nails to secure each corner. For moldings two inches to two and a half inches wide, use three nails per corner. You're ready now to join the corners of your molding, but before we do, I'd like to share a very important tip with you to assure professional results. Mark the edge of each miter cut with a light colored stain marker to blend any seams that may show or exist once joined. Stain pen sets can be found at most art supply, craft, and hardware stores. It really makes a difference in your finished frame. For long lasting solid corners, begin by placing a small bead of wood glue onto the corner. Place your molding into the vise and clamp the jaw shut by pressing the spring button and sliding the handle. Tighten the handle firmly by twisting it to the right. To avoid making mistakes, it's a good idea to always put the longer length piece on the right hand side of the vise and the shorter length on the left when joining. When placing the vise into the joiner, the molding must have the support underneath it to squarely drive in the V-nails. Use the spacer when the molding is not even with the horizontal plane. This diagram will provide you with some general guidance for whether or not you need the spacer. If the spacer is needed, place the spacer between the clamped molding and the baseboard with the rubber edges facing up. Then, position the clamped molding onto the spacer, positioning it so that the spacer is directly beneath where the V-nail needs to be pressed in. Use the levelers to hold up the ends of the molding. Simply spin them to the proper height. Adjust the beam height by lining up the depth gauge with the vice posts. Loosen the lever assembly knobs and adjust the beam so the depth gauge lightly touches the vice post. Tighten the knobs, being sure not to over tighten them. Slide the corner of the vise under the magnetic tip. Now, load the V-nail by aligning it around the magnetic tip. Be sure the beveled, sharp edge of the nail is facing down. Space the V-nail one quarter inch from the inside or outside corner. Using the lever, press the V-nail down flush into the corner. Now, position the vise locating the V-nail half the distance between the first V-nail and the other corner. Then, load a second V-nail. And, press down the lever to insert the second V-nail flush. To release the molding from the vise, simply press the spring-loaded quick release button on the vise. Repeat on the other corners to complete the frame. For best results, join opposite corners first, then join the halves to complete the frame. And that's all it takes to create a professional looking frame.